Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2015 Accustats Make It Happen One Pocket Invitational. Thank you. We're coming to you live from the Aramis Simonis Arena here at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey, home of Accustats Video Productions and the home of the Make It Happen series. Well, I think everybody knows what we've been doing and where we stand right now. We have uh, this match and one more to complete our round robin. Then we'll have our final match tonight at 9.30. We reached out to you as we've always done. Once again, you responded greatly by bringing back four of our prior champions that played in the first Make It Happen One Pocket. We've added two young guns to the event. They're both gonna play each other right now and they have added an awful lot to this tournament. Um, raised a few eyebrows, and performed extremely well. It's really been a pleasure to have them as part of our group, and we hope we'll have them back many, many times in the future. Our matches are raced to three games, with the winner receiving $1,000. And our equipment is a diamond table with pro-cut pockets, 860 Simonis, and Aramith Balls, and we'd like to thank those sponsors very much for their ongoing support of Accustats and Professional Pool. Well, as I said, we've got uh, two young guns added to our mix here with our four other returning champions, and those two players are going to play right now in front of you. And if you haven't seen them play, you're really in for a treat. So before I introduce them, I'd like to take one last opportunity, as I always do, to thank each and every one of you viewers out there for your loyal support of Accustats Video Productions, and to each and every one of you around here at Ringside for coming to, to help us make this happen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Okay, let me go ahead right now and introduce our competitors. This will be match number 14. Following this match, we'll have a dinner break, and we'll be back at 7 o'clock. It'll be Shane and Efren at 7 p.m. Our first player is from Tampa, Florida. This gentleman holds top four finishes at the Derby City Classic in both the Bank Pool Division and the Nine Ball Division. He's the 2012 Southern Classic Bank Pool Champion, One Pocket Champion, and All Around Champion. And this past December, he proudly represented Team USA with a nice performance in Blackpool, England on the USA's Moscone Cup. He's sponsored by Fast Action Cues, a great young player. Please welcome Justin Hall. Thank you very much. His opponent is from Toledo, Ohio, also making his debut here at the Make It Happen series, and he couldn't have made a better debut. Of the four champions that you brought back from the last Make It Happen series, Efren, Alex, Shane, and Scott, they've all matched up against this gentleman, and none of them have been able to beat him yet. He's undefeated so far going into this match, and what that means, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to show your gratitude for his performance, he has guaranteed himself a spot in tonight's final with a 4-0 record. He's a former Music City Open champion. He's a three-time defending One Pocket Fight Night champion. This year at the Derby City Classic, he was awarded the Louis Roberts Action and Entertainment Award. His nickname's The Shredder, because he's either gonna shred his opponents, as he's done here all week, and every now and then he shreds his own bankroll. We hope that doesn't happen too much. But ladies and gentlemen, undefeated, on his way to the finals, Danny Smith. <laughs> Thanks very much. Your referee in charge of the match is Carswell Ransom. Your official timekeeper, Miss Julie Ha. Official photographer is Carl Kantrowitz. And at this time, I'm going to send it over to the booth. Take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Hendrickson at the Make It Happen One Pocket Invitational. My guest in the booth is Vinny Soro, the owner of Clifton Billiards and a one pocket enthusiast and knowledgeable one pocket player welcome to the booth Vinny oh thank you Bill I'm glad to be here I uh, <clears throat> love to see this guy Danny Smith play he's fantastic uh, Vinny, this is our 14th match of the event with only two matches to go our contestants are two young guns in this event Justin Hall and Danny Smith Justin's about to break now um, 
I'm gonna put my money on uh, Danny. Uh, he's been playing so well. You know, uh, everything he did earlier has been uh, fantastic. Well, I, I can't really argue with you. I like Danny myself, but we'll see. He made a pretty nice break. Yeah. Uh, Cosmo's stopping him for something there. I don't know what, but... Uh, actually, uh, what could he do here? Hit the one and come behind the nine? Well, he could see the... Uh, was it the four ball? And I believe he could graze off the four ball, hit the long rail, and maybe come behind the 11. That, that's what I would think about doing. But, you know, from where he is, he may be able to see the 11 directly, and that would change things. Wow, what is he doing? You may can see the 11. No, he did what I said. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, His control. Yeah. He, he hit the point. If he didn't catch the point, he might have got closer and snuck up right on the 11, you know? Yeah. Now, the closer to the 11 is a better shot. And if, sure, so over here, sure. he could hit the 10 and come behind that 4. Yeah, uh, he could hit the 10, and he could come behind the 4, maybe, but, uh, you know, uh, that would be ideal if he has enough of the 10 to do that with. If not, he may just put the oh. 10 uh, across the 10 and come up and hide the uh, put the cue ball near, the, near it to the side pocket. You know, there's two ways, obviously, because you taught me a lot in one pocket. There's two ways of coming off the 10 in order to get it to that specific spot on the rail. One is going through it, and one is actually carrying yeah. off of it. And sure. that's what he did. Yeah, that, and that was a great shot. There's, there's no... Uh, he would have preferred getting closer to that four ball, but... Uh, you know, he's thinking about going under these two balls, the uh, the four and the striped ball, and maybe coming and hitting the 11, or uh, maybe he could see the six ball on the top there. No, uh, I think he has to hit the seven. And yeah. hopefully There's come another back. way he can do this, but uh, it's a little bit risky. Let's see what he chooses. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go that way. Oh, he did. He hit it good, too. Yeah, he hits it good. I probably would have scratched. He hit it good. And he's probably going to come across here and try to put him on the side of the pack somehow, either off the 11 or even if he just takes a scratch and does it, I don't know what he's going to try. Yeah, early on in the match against these guys, it's better to take a one-ball scratch and not leave them anything to run out because... They're both run-out players. And, and control of the game is very important at the beginning. Absolutely yeah. true. And he's, you know, Smith has a minus one now on the board, on the score. Was that a scratch? That's I an intentional they took, scratch. Yeah, he took one back now, and they, they both have a foul on him. And that's the right thing to do in the beginning. You do not want to give sure. them an opportunity to I mean, to you run. know, if you, if, you, if you can avoid it, then you'll avoid it. But otherwise, make sure you get the cue ball there at all costs. You'd like to get on the other side of that pack, pack again, again, but uh, he's going to go off, what, the six ball maybe here? Or the 13? Uh, can he 13. hit it? 13. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's... That was a beautiful control. Yeah. Beautiful control. Yeah, he has a few options here. I mean, he could play defense. And, uh, you know, he could also play the two ball off the striped ball. You see that? And maybe put the cue ball on top of the rack and. Yeah. Yeah. You could hit the two ball into the 15, put the yeah. 15 on his side and leave the cue ball in the rack. He'd like to put the cue ball between the 11 and the 13 if possible. Somewhere in there would be nice if he's going to go, if he was going to play defensively. And he's going to get the bridge out here and go off either the 14 or the, or the pink. Yeah, this, this is, is a really hard <laughs> shot. This, this is, is really tricky. Hard shot. This is very, very tricky. It's hard to control that ball. I mean, he's jacked up with the bridge. Yeah, don't and, uh, want to make a mistake here. Well, that was an wow. excellent hit. Yeah. Wow. 
to put them on that nine ball, fantastic control. So Danny only has a couple of choices. He, he's jacked up to try to bank this striped ball, but I don't know if that's a kiss or not. It's close. I think maybe he'll miss the I kiss. I don't think he's going to try and make it. I think he'd rather hit the nine with that 14. Yeah, he's going to bank it into the nine. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Put the cue all over by the pink. Maybe behind the pink would have been better, huh? Yeah, behind the pink would have been ideal. Uh, now he, uh, he's got a lot of balls by his pocket. You can't make a mistake here. He'll lose the game. But I'll tell you the truth, he has a lot of options here. I mean, he yes, left he 11 does. wide open. I mean, uh, he has the 14. He could do anything with the 9. Yeah, just don't make I a mean, mistake. He's, he's liable to just uh, put he, the 11 into the rail and take a couple of them out, or he might try to make a bank here across the, across the 14. Yeah, That was good control of the cue ball. Just stop it there and not leave him a shot. Yeah, I would graze here. I would graze the pink and put the cue ball on a stack. That was my instinct. Uh, first, yeah. first, it, first guess. It looks relatively easy, especially for uh, Danny. And he's going right to it, it seems. Yep. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. He almost forces him to take a scratch back now. If not a scratch, uh, a, a, what I call an almost scratch. You aim at a... Uh, an edge of a ball, and if you don't scratch, that's great. But if you scratch, you're expecting to scratch also. Well, he has the option to hit the uh, long rail and, <clears throat> well, take an intentional foul that way. He's going to take an intentional foul here. Yeah, well, you could take an intentional and leave it right there, or you could take an intentional and come back across. I'd rather come back across. I don't want to I don't want to be stuck on the wrong side of the pack with two it, on me. Yeah, I normally don't like that either. He did take so that. So he tried not to take a scratch. He wanted something to hit, but nothing quite made it. Nothing made it. But what was nice is he left the cue ball, it looks like, on the three. Yeah, but he, he's got, he owes two, and I don't know if he's on, he's on one. Yeah, he's on one foul. He's on the well, first foul. was on two. Oh, wait a minute. He might be on one, yeah. Hall's on. They're both on one, but Hall has two, he owes two. They both owe two. Yeah. Well, he could, uh, looks like he's going to make the ball and leave him long so he can't uh, shoot uh, uh -oh. that shot. Oh, it, yeah. Uh -oh. He just, it just he took, didn't took really off on that. him. He wasn't sure that the table was that quick and kept going right in. Followed it and fouled. He's lucky he didn't have two on him there. Yeah. He would have lost the game. Well, he's minus three now. Uh, but to be honest, uh, uh, Danny Smith could run a lot of balls here. Yeah, he's he's got an opportunity here. I mean, he, he can run right out here. If everything rolls for him, he's liable to run a lot of balls. Yeah. Now uh, the 14 2. Well, I would that would be my secondary shot. I would, I would play the 14 come above the 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 red straw the 11 is that? Um I think the you 15 know, and maybe, maybe even higher than that for the to, for the 10 ball. 10 ball. But you have all three in mind. Well, he did it something even smarter. Look at this. He he tapped some loose. Yep, yep, to make some other balls. Yeah. Very smart. Now, do you come around for the one to break him out? No. You have to come back for the 15 or the th 13 or 12, whatever that is. Yeah, I th he's going to probably have to get the bridge out here. And then you come around for the uh, 13 or the 15 or the 10. I mean, they're all good. Two rails out. Yes. How uh, fast that cloth is. I don't know if he's exactly straight here on the 13. If yeah. he is... Uh, he's got he a slight angle. He might draw straight back and play the 15 next. Yeah. Either or he might or shoot the, the 15 now and come across for that ball next. No, definitely shooting at uh, 12 or 13, whatever that is. Well, it looks like he's going to put a stroke on the ball. Yeah, 10. Wow. Yeah, he, he tried to put a big stroke on the ball. It came all the way around. Uh, I hope he doesn't get he stuck do on the seven. What was that about? Yeah, he wanted to come for the 10 ball and break him open on the 15 maybe or something like that. It wasn't a bad idea. Could have been, uh, he put in, you know, he drew the ball beautifully. Uh, 
Well, Justin's happy at this point right now. It uh, looks like uh, Danny has two balls. He's going to play a foul, just put him right in. Not only, I mean, a safe, put him right in the corner there. Let's hook. Justin owes uh, three balls, and he's on two fouls. So and he's, he's got to do two. something. He has to wow. do something. He's going to play a bank shot here, I think. Well, he's a fantastic banker, and uh, I don't think he leaves anything if he does. Uh, well, that's the whole point. You know, either either he's going to play a good safe or he's going to. Oh, he has a safe right there. Smart move. And Danny is. Uh, I don't think he could play that safe. You balls frozen, you think, to the rail? It, it could be. Uh, if he shoots it, it's not. If he shoots it, it's not. What does Cosmo say now? I guess not. Cosmo's been a referee around here for years. Yeah. It's like part of the furniture. Or it's well ransom. He's going to, uh, he's no longer on two. Uh, is he playing? But he owes bank? three, and he he's, looks like he's putting this to the hole or trying uh, to put it It was a hole. double kiss, or else he would yeah. have gotten a lot closer. On this table, I think he's shooting. And it would be the 12, so he could run out. He's not going to shoot the 15. Shoot the 12, he has possibility of getting on a couple other balls. He could shoot the 10 ball also here. He come could. A, he could come a, if he hits it hard, he could come across the whole table all the way over. Yeah. It's a little scarier because I think he could sell out that way, but he's doing what you just said. He's a top He's a top uh, ball pocketer uh, in the world. And these guys have a tremendous amount of confidence. They're level to try anything. Very difficult to predict what he's going to shoot next because because of, of that. Well, if he plays safe, he's coming over to one of the center bolt shots, or he could play the ten. If he makes that, he has the fifteen and uh, the eleven or twelve, whatever that is. He's thinking oh. about banking the nine. Wow! I am very safe. Come behind the two. That was not. Uh... That's my style. I like what he did there. Yeah, I thought you would get closer to the two ball. Well, I would have tried to, but, you know, that's just my choice. Now, would you shoot the four here? No. Oh, wait a minute. That's no, uh, he's going not to his the... pocket. Oh, nice shot. That worked pretty well. It looks like he's looking at the two ball. You see the two ball up there? He might be able to two rail a two ball. I don't know if he can one rail at the... Uh, Nine or the 11? Yeah, what's at the top of, oh, the, up top of the table? Seven. Oh, the, that's yeah, the two. two but the, he may be shooting a seven now. He may be, or he may be... I don't know if he's the ball's off enough or off the rail or not to do that. Oh, yeah, it was a really good hit, too. He spun it. Wow. Yeah, he spun it a lot. He may just hit, what's that, the seven ball, 10-7 uh, lined up with each other? Yeah. I think he could hit the seven ball directly. He may just stop his cue ball right there and see if he hits something into the pack. We might cross his cue ball. I hope he doesn't cross his cue ball and come up and sell out the 10 ball. Let me cross the 7 ball. I would say the 7 is the uh, hit it straight on. Let's just stop it. That's one way to play it for sure. It's safe. Is he crossed uh, a little bit now. you got to make sure he doesn't sell it to 10. And he didn't hit the ball. Nice. If he doesn't like anything, he's got this ball under the pack that he could just 
you know, hit he that could, ball and follow the cue ball down. And he could actually bank that 15, right? Go two rails, come back up north. Well, that's one thing he could do, sure. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would, I would shoot the 10 ball, I think, and maybe uh, let's put the cue ball on the other side of the pack. He's looking at something here, the nine. This is scary. Oh, wow. Very nice shot. Yeah. Good control on the cue ball. Very nice shot, yeah. Well, he, uh, he pulled wow, his cue ball two wheels and around, and he banked that ball into the stack. And that was the only way he could do it, was yeah. to do it that way. I love watching them because, uh, you know, I learn a lot about this here game and learn different shots. Sure. He's got a problem here. He might try to hit behind this, uh, what's it, the one ball on the rail near, near the rail? Uh, he, by his yeah. pocket, by, the, by uh, Danny's pocket. I think that's the one ball. Yeah, it looks like the one. And uh, I think he may, depending on how far that ball is from the rail, he may hit the rail and then the one and then try to come down under there. The rail and the one. Or hit the bottom rail and come back up and hit the uh, strike it, ball. It could sell out. I don't know. He's going to hit this harder, try to make I think. Both leave. Try to make them both leave, you think? Oh. And, oh, oh, he got a little, <laughs> little break. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. But they all left. You notice he, he got them all leaving. So yeah. that even if that ball didn't fall, it was not too bad. Does he shoot the 10? What is he doing? Oh, 10 is a tough shot. Does this combo go? Yeah, that's what he's shooting. The 1-6. Wow. You have to be confident. Is that a sellout? Oh, it didn't oh, go. Oh, he didn't, didn't make it. Yeah, it cut a little. He, he tried to take a little advantage of the uh, wow. pocket. Well, it looks like the 7 goes, the 9 goes, the 10 goes, the 12 goes. That's uh, a two. lot of options for a man of that ability. Uh, he's level to get a bunch here. I'm not sure. Well, he, I'm going to predict he gets four. One. Just stop right there and play the strike ball. You're going to come back and play the uh, five ball. I'd stop it there. Yeah. Now, does he go to try and break him out a little, or does he come for the... Well, he can either come up for the 10 or go into the balls. I would go into the balls myself. Well, what's scary is he has a six ball hanging, so he... Well, he, that's why I don't go up for the 10, because if I don't come up right, I end up behind yeah, the 10 or yeah. behind the pink ball, and I can't take that six out. I can't give it to him. I'd be really in trouble. So this way, if you come into the eight ball... That's what you want. You have to you come into the eight. You always have the option to hit the six... Or maybe you'll have a shot to shoot in your pocket. And uh, that's just what he did. So you got to make the six here. Unless he could, uh, he's confident in banking this ball. Well, these ball. guys are going to shoot these balls. They pink. It looks like a bank for me. But myself, <laughs> I, I pocket the six ball. Well, the what's the score? Five to two. Minus two. Well, that bank looks pretty easy for him, and with he can position. run out. Yeah, with position. Yeah, with position. That's the real reason. If you don't have position, you don't shoot it. Yeah, I think he makes the pink, and he comes up for the eight, and he, maybe he gets out here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're both wrong. He's going to play like a, like a chicken like me. <laughs> Danny D. Lombardo taught me this. He said, when you're up, play like a chicken. That was Ronnie Allen and Danny DiLiberto. They, they had a match out in Arizona, and that was taped or televised or something. And they were talking about be a lion or a lamb. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly what I'm talking about. If you're winning, be a, a lamb. If you're losing, be a lion. Talking about aggressive or, def or uh, passive. That was a nice hit. That was a good hit. But could he shoot 10 and come in between those two? Well, he's got the 10 ball. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's real easy to, to, to make. No less get on the fall on the pink here. But uh, oh. I think he's going to go for it. We'll see what happens. 
I predict he's not going to have success with this shot, though. It's too much to, to lose and uh, not, not a lot to if gain. If you're going to shoot it, you got to go 100%. Yeah. Well, he came perfect. Look, didn't he? And look at that. He didn't sell out. Beautiful yeah, yeah, shot. I don't think he got a second shot. Does he, Aiko? Uh, I don't think you could. Uh, tough cut on that four. Possible scratch. He's not going to try to make it. He's just going to put it on his side of the table and hide him under oh, the one ball. That would have been beautiful. Well, yeah. he, he did good enough anyway. He's going to protect the pink. Pink's on his side of the table now. He's going to take, try and hit the one ball, take that out, and put the pack between him and the pink. Yep. Perfect shot. He's got to hit T8, skin the 8, and come down to the bottom. Hey, you right notice off. he just hit the 8 ball, and then he spun it down? Yeah. There's another way to play that. You can hit the eight ball thinner, and then you can grab the six ball as a secondary hit and let the angle take you down instead of spinning the cue ball. And that would allow you to hit the ball a little softer and would take and position the, uh, was that the seven ball? I yeah. think that's the seven ball. Would put, put that in a slightly different position depending on what you wanted to do. Well, what was nice about this shot is the cue ball. Yeah, he's, the, he's out right on the he's rail. And that's that's rail. what you want to do. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Put him right on the rail. Oh, man, that was a beautiful oh, shot. It's like a Finney Soro oh, shot. Man. Boy, hit that right in the middle. <laughs> That's a shot you're good at. I love that. This kid's been impressive all week. Yeah, he really can pocket. I haven't seen anybody pocket better than Danny Smith. His moves are fantastic. You know we just played Gentile out in... I think Chicago. Chris Gentile. Yeah. Watch out, side pocket. Oh, that's, uh, he needs one. Oh, no, that was game. He's out. Yeah, he just played uh, Gentile. I think he played him twice. He did. He played him twice, once maybe in Florida or Indiana. And now he went to his home room and beat him again for some decent money. We want to uh, Thanks some of the supporters in other M of uh, this event and other MIH events. Uh, Tom J Jacobellis from North Carolina, Bob Jewett from California, Art Krasno, California. There's some more. I'll mention them later. Was that Art? Art Krasno from yeah. California. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Justin's breaking. And you notice where they break from? They're both breaking from about the same place. Yeah, normally I'm closer to the rail. They seem to be uh, about four or five inches off. That was a nice break. Yeah, I like to be uh, on a fast table. This is a very fast cloth. The uh, lights dry out the table a little bit, the cloth a little bit, and it speeds it up a little bit. So I don't break from the rail. I like to break from a little bit closer to the center. Less likely to sell a ball out to the other guy's corner. That's just my opinion. I guess other people don't do it for that reason. Well, I think most of the players here have been doing that. And uh, I think most of them have been breaking into this pocket. Yes, I noticed that. You're right. Oh, he's well, not I, happy I just with don't that. understand that. He just he just tried a, a <laughs> real aggressive shot uh, yes. with without a lot to gain in the well, I mean, he didn't have another shot. Why would you do that? Yeah. That didn't make sense. Uh, that's not well, like him. That wasn't like him at all. He could come here and now, now come uh, and hit the bottom of the stack and hope he gets another shot off the seven or the three. Or he could come around for the one. Well, he has to hit the four ball here. He's going to shoot the nine and hit the four. Oh, yeah, he missed he it. Tried. He missed it, but he's coming across for a shot anyway. Well, he has this and then uh, comes down for the bank on the three. At three or the 11. I can't see if the 11 banks or not. Yeah, 
Yeah, you were right, the three ball. You could still do the 11 if you wanted to, if it goes. Now they're, they're playing with a shot clock here, if you notice the, the shot clock in the background. Yeah. And uh, I like that. It's a 60-second shot clock. Yeah, I like that. It, it speeds up the game a little bit. What are you looking at here? I don't know what he's looking at. Uh, could you bank the seven into the pack and leave him on the top of the rail? It's a little bit loose for these guys. He might bank the seven, but I don't know if he would Go bank into it, the over, pack. over bank it and put a little reverse on the cue ball and come back down on that side of the table. Correct. That's what he did. Yeah, that's what I would do right there. He's a great banker. Um, yeah. On slower equipment, I might do what you said. Uh, Bank it when, into the when pack. It's, when it's real, yeah. When it's real fast, after you hit the pack, you just can't predict what's going to happen, and it's a little wild, you know, for the, for this quality of player. Uh, he showed another ball here. This is not a. a it's not going to be good for him. Uh. I mean, he's going to try and bank it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get you any more than one ball, but... <clears throat> it might not get you any balls, but if you could put the, the pack in, in between the cue ball and the ball he hits yes. now, uh, it'll put him on the defensive for sure and uh, lose control of the rack. I mean, he's got six... Hall has six balls. It's one to nothing, Smith. But Hall has six balls this game. Oh, Looks like he might have. Yeah, he beautiful. made it. This gets a little scary because he could scratch coming off of the 15, but 15 ball is the one I believe he wants to hit. Yeah, and they're not going to scratch in the pocket. They're not going to allow that to happen. They'll, they'll miss the whole ball before they let that scratch in the pocket. I mean, I think they will. No, that, there's no combination there with the 8 and 11, is there? I don't believe so. I think if there's a combination, uh, it's hard to see from this angle. <clears throat> but it looks like he could probably just graze the 15 ball or... That's what I'm thinking. He'll graze the 15 into the 5 and come back up. I mean, he's losing 6 to nothing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with just taking, taking a foul, foul right here, yeah. And uh, and because he's, he's in a, a bad spot, he's but, in a uh, bad spot, and all the balls are in play. So I mean, you know, a, a player uh, of his caliber could run out. Justin's probably going to do the same. Let's take a look and see if there's anything for him. There's really nothing for him. Well, he may be able to hit this stripe ball into the 15 and head it towards the pocket. Maybe not make it, but head it towards the pocket and maybe freeze the cue ball to the top of the stack. If he believes that he can do that, he may take a chance at a real slow speed. And real if it doesn't slow. reach the rail, then it's a foul. So he'll, be, he'll have the second foul on him. The other person has the first foul, right? I mean, that's, that's what I would think about doing. You know, I'm surprised that uh, he has six balls. He should actually be thinking about bringing all these balls up north. So he went to oh, really was... thin the ball. Nice. Yeah, and, and if he didn't hit that ball at all, it would have been fine by him. He would have just gone up table and been the second foul. You know, he, he'll have one and the other, and then he would have one. Okay. <clears throat> he put him in a real good position here. Yeah, I don't see an offensive shot to you. Uh, not an offensive, but a defensive. He can come off of this, uh, whatever that 11 ball is, hit the long rail and put him underneath the... Uh, Back. Yeah, I think he's going to put him under the, the pink and the, the 15 and the pink. If that the, uh, yeah, it's exactly yeah. what I would. But he, he, reeked, he leaked the uh, two ball out. He leaked the two ball. Uh, that is to his side, though. But I mean, he, he didn't want to let that ball be seen. Yeah, he didn't want to let that ball be seen. Justin has six, and he could uh, elect to 
put it into the packer down here, but I think he's going to send it up up table. Oh, that was a very it. aggressive oh. shot for that score. Uh, if you're leading six to nothing, you know you wow. want to set him up table if possible. Well, you shoot the fourteen here, you Abs could get absolutely. position for absolutely. the. Uh, he could actually do a lot of damage. Yeah, if he falls on another shot, he's gonna. He can he'll run make out. the fourteen and tap that six ball. <clears> if that's the six. Uh, down a bit. I think he's and looking at the four. If the four goes, or uh, I'm not sure, sure what goes from there. Well, I, I, you know, I don't think you have a choice if he if he makes uh -oh, the ball. What is he doing? Oh, uh, he's gonna shoot around it the thirteen first. What? I didn't think that went. Yeah, now to see if the two fits. See, well, we couldn't tell that. If the two, I think the two does fit, doesn't it? Oh, um, wow. I don't know. If that fits, you can just shoot that in and draw onto the uh, five ball or whatever that is. If he has a shot from here, um, he's going to make a lot of balls. It doesn't look like he does. Maybe a three-railer. If he doesn't have one, how about a three-railer on a 15? Yeah, and leave the cue ball right there. Yeah, just, just hide the cue ball. If he could put it on the five, would be better. When you're playing people like this, you have to be on the ball because they'll find a shot. He hit it really firm. And it came out real long. Oh! oh. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know if he has a, a good shot here or not, but uh, it's not what he wanted to do. No. Well, he didn't want to hit the balls again with that 15. He doesn't have a straight-in shot. He does have the six-ball bank. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Can he cut that ball in? Guess not. Trying to bank the 15. 48 off the 15. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, that came out pretty good. He has a lot of uh, things he could do with this 14. He could one rail it or two rail it. Uh, but then that 15 is sticking out pretty far. Is um, that the 11 or the 15? No, the, uh, that would be the 11. 11? Um, he, could, he could bank this and uh, just a one rail bank and leave it on the right hand side. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't think he'll be able to cut that uh, 11 in? No. But he has to hit this at good pace where he doesn't leave the bank. Yeah, over overturned it. But he left good pace. It's uh, not a real easy bank there. I think he's going to one rail the shot. To the 14 ball that he just yeah. that the uh, Danny just shot. He's going to shoot that. You'll notice in one pocket that usually not usually, but oftentimes the ball that the, your opponent shot last is the ball that you're going to shoot next. Yep, that's exactly what he did. That was just a safe shot. He was just yeah. controlling the cue ball. That's for all you novice one-pocket players. If you don't know what to do, look at the ball your opponent shot at last. A lot of times that'll be the next ball you shoot at. Not, you know, it's not a rule. <laughs> so, Danny... Has to shoot the eleven. No? Well, no, he he can shoot off the six ball, can he? And uh, yeah. yeah, and if maybe oh, hit the side rail and come under the eight with a little touch of left English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he hits this right, that that six may uh, do some send a two or something over in his uh, he's his, got his, his favor. Soft, no. Yeah, with a lot of spin. Oh, he hit that differently. I don't know who's going for that ball at all. Yeah, well, that's what I said initially he was going to go for that, but I think he was going three rails on it, but maybe trying yeah, to control the cue ball better. You know, he changed his mind late. Yeah.
He could go off the 8 and slide under the 14. Uh, he could go directly off the, maybe off the 4 and slide under the 14. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I if I like that one. Yeah, I'm not in love with it. But we'll see what he does. I mean, it's close to the rail. I doubt if he could bank it. Um, but he might be able to bank it off of a ball or... Yeah, he just doesn't want to sell out a bank here. Yeah, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to do anything, really. He could just yeah. hit it real soft and go under the eight, you know, and stay yeah. under there real soft. Yeah. Only move the eight ball about one inch, you know. That would be a good shot. Delicate, delicate yeah. move, yeah. delicate touch. And, and this way you know that uh, you're guaranteed not to leave a shot. That's true. And he, ha he has a six ball he could see clear, and he might just hit that up and follow that up to near the side pocket. Well, whatever he does now, he could leave a shot, though. Sure. Well, Look at this. That was just stupid. What you initially said was go underneath the eight. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was stupid, but it was pretty... I don't think he put enough time into thinking it out, you know? Yeah, he lost control of the cue ball. You know what? I haven't seen him playing like this uh, yeah. all week. He played fantastic. He's a very smart. He's a smart player. He doesn't really does anything stupid. It just once in a blue moon, we all just get distracted and we shoot a shot that appears to be not the smartest. But he's played excellent all week long. That was a really nice shot. Beautiful. He that, needs one ball to win. Yeah, he he won this one. Danny Smith has played fantastic all week long. I haven't seen him make a mistake. Yeah, especially one of that. Yeah, one yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, he really went. That was an extreme miss. Extreme, extremely that poor judgment. Yeah, lost extremely control poor. of the cue balls. Oh, I think I, he got distracted somehow or another. Maybe somebody in the <laughs> audience may have distracted him. You know? I would. Um, between the rack, I want to... Thank a few more supporters. Uh, Martin Kresovich from Virginia. He's he was uh, he's here, and Larry Landsman, Florida. Captain Ken Lee from Florida. He's here also. I met him. He's a nice fella. And uh, Larry Landsman in Florida. Captain Ken Lee in Florida. Oh, I said his name already, didn't I? Suzanne and Rich Lodato, New York. He's gonna break again here. How was that break? That break is pretty good. It's a safe break. He didn't sell out. When you don't sell out, it's not bad. That's actually yeah. It's good. nice to get one on each side of the pocket. You know, I, I would love yeah. to get one on the on the long reel diamond and one on the short, short reel diamond. Reel. He's got one on a long reel diamond and the one on a short reel yeah. isn't too bad either. Yeah. Um, he'll be able to shoot through that ten and the six, that little gap there, and maybe hit that striped ball and possibly get the cue wow. ball near the pocket, but. You know, I'd rather shoot the one and come back, hit the long rail, and come back in between the uh, yeah. nine and the That's 11. a nice shot. And the only thing I could see wrong with it is if you give the wrong angle to the 11 ball, uh, you're liable to be able to bank that back at you, you know? It's hitting in between the 10 and the 6 to me is extremely difficult. Yeah, it is. And But the angle we're, we're at, I can't tell if he can, how much he can wow. do with that. You know, I really don't. And, you see what he's looking yeah, at? Yeah, he's trying to uh, offense. Wow. He played a 10 off the 15 and see if he can make the 10. All right. Well. And at the same time, maybe the cue will get over near the pocket and play <laughs> safe. We'll see what happens. Because if, if he drops this, he'll have a shot for sure at something. Yeah, he made it. What a nice shot. And I was wrong. He doesn't have a shot he for sure. He doesn't have a shot. You know? <clears throat> I thought for sure he hit it center ball, you know. Well, he's probably a straight pool player because he knew that carom extremely well. He sure did, didn't he? He wants to see if this 13 ball, I believe, is the 13 banks. Uh, that's frozen. I don't know what he can do with that. Uh, he's got to go underneath the 11. Yeah, that's the, the safe shot. I want to play safe. That ball may turn. That ball may be able, may be able to be made.
He may, be able, he may be able to stop his cue ball right there and just play the uh, 15 or 11 ball. What is that right there on the bottom rail? Uh, I think it's the 11. Yeah, he might be able to just go off of the edge of that or stop it, hit it full and, and stop it right there. Very nice shot. I like this. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know he could see the back of that ball. He tried to kick it across into uh, one of the balls near the top of the stack. Yeah, man. He Beautiful kept the cue ball. Yeah, he kept the cue ball right on the side of the table that way. That's a little advanced one pocket. Yep. There's a one pocket player out of Lodi that does that very well, and it's uh, Jose. He was a three cushion player, and you could learn a lot from three cushion players on uh, various things to do in one pocket. He can see the six ball. Uh, that wasn't really a yeah. great shot. <clears throat> he may do the exact same thing he did before. He could bank this easily into the pink or into the seven and put the cue ball on the top rail, and uh, it'll be a safe shot, and he'll have a couple of balls in front of his hole. If he executes this shot well, uh, Justin is not going to like it. Yeah. That was all control of the cue ball. Sure. He could go off the edge of the pink and put the cue ball up and around the, the, the seven or the five, you know. Yeah. But nine feet yeah. away, at you know, you're trying to be real delicate at nine feet away. That's kind of tough. Uh, that's what he's doing now. I like the way he played that. Yeah. Hit it nice and soft. He went through it to get to where he wanted to yeah. go. I, I would have thought about going thinner, and that would have put the seven into play, and I don't think that was good. I wasn't up to thinking quick enough with him there. He was a little quicker than I was. I've been playing this game a long time. I usually go to the shot well, fairly fast, Yeah, and he was ahead of me. So he knows the game. I think he's just going to hide right behind here. Yeah, I don't like that idea. I think that's just a wasted wasted turn. Oh. Oh, I was wrong. That was a very smart move. He plays great one pocket. This ball banks. Um, he may take this ball and draw the cue ball to the bottom rail. Uh, that's scary. A little too wild? Yeah, because you could, uh, if you miss it a little bit or don't control oh, yeah, the cue ball, right. you can make the you're, seven. You're right. You're right. Uh, so I'd rather he, leave him up north. He's, uh, su he's such a great one uh, bank pool player. He's liable to be really looking at this as a some kind of bait. You know, he could shoot that pink ball and leave the cue ball on the top right rail there uh, by the pocket. Well, he's going to leave the cue ball by his opponent's uh, pocket. pocket. That's always safer. For sure. He's going to either go off the six or the seven or something like that. Yeah, off well, of the six. If... And he's protecting the pink. That's on his side of the table. He doesn't want the... His opponent to see it really. I think he did that. You know, he has to have at least something on his side of the table, otherwise, that whole table will be cut off. I call them soldiers. I try and get soldiers on my side. Sure, <laughs> sure. You don't need too many, but you got to have one for you sure. You got to have a couple soldiers on your side. Right now, he wants to protect the eight and the seven and the, and the orange. He might try and put him right on the six here. Yeah. That was a nice shot. <laughs> it was laying. It was easy to execute. Yeah. You know, yeah, all you had to do was was stop his cue ball. Yep. Yeah. Laying and, right. Uh, and it was laying so nice. Now, he's got another shot coming back now. He might be able to play the 14 and freeze him to the six back. He sees it. Sometimes it pulls right next to you. You don't see it. It's like the forest through the trees, you know? Uh, I think he's going to go three rails here. Well, he may just take the foul. Yeah. Try to graze the bottom of the seven, maybe, or something. Or the eight. Yeah, oh, that, nice was shot. Nice. that was nice. That was nice. He still can't hit the pink, you see? He can't hit the pink. 
The pink has been saving him. Yeah. What would you do here? Well, looks like you're going to have to come off of the six. Oh, no. He's going to come off of the 15, leave him behind here and protect his eight. Oh, completely different. Well, this is, a, this is what I call a bait shot. You know, he has the pink ball he could shoot at. And but, to be but honest, to, I to think get a second ball, he's going to have to hit the ball a little bit, either twist it or uh, hit it hard. So I don't know if I would go for that, but if he doesn't do something it's right away, he's, shot, he's, all the balls are on the, on on the Danny's side of the table. Yeah, he's got to do something quick because he's getting. Uh, it was a safe shot. I yeah, mean. yeah. But I mean, you, you notice, you know, it looks like the table's tilted here. Yeah. He has to make some changes here. Yeah. He's level to just punch the, the eight ball into the five and take three or four balls out right here. Put the cue ball on the bottom. Now, I'm always afraid of hitting this too hard because I don't want to sell out of bank. So I'm going to. Yeah. Well, you have to hit it where the eight hits the five solid. He's, you know, so it doesn't yeah. come back. Just want to put the cue ball on the bottom rail. I don't like that. I think you should have done a little harder. You know, he, he could put the cue ball up on the top of the table and just grazing the six, maybe, or even as he takes a foul. Uh, well, this is a free six ball, isn't it? Or, or it looks like a free six ball, and it looks like he could actually put the cue ball right around the eight. Yeah, I think he could come up and hit the eight ball and maybe tuck it behind the, on the rail behind the eight. I just hit this nice and easy in this pocket speed. Oh, wow, he hit that. Oh, he sold everything out here. Yeah, he... Uh, I don't know how many he could get, but he could get a few, that's for sure. At least one, he, for sure. He put too much spin on that ball, and I think that's what threw him off. Does the combo go after that? Does, does the eight ball go after the... Uh... It looks like it's very close. Well, then he might, he could just follow into them balls, too. And... Yeah, that's what I think he'll do. Oops. He got froze on it. Uh, yeah, it might be real bad. Wow. Score is 1-1. One, one. You know, games. Uh, Hole and Smith both have both have one game going to three. And Hole has two balls to Smith's one. Did he go for that? Wow. That was good control on the cue. Very nice. Very nice. And this is a problem because now you got the six ball over the May Bank. And if he tries yeah. to give him the eight, uh, he's going to give up the, the uh, six ball bank. Well, he has to give him the eight. But could you give him the eight and get behind the seven? Well, you don't have to give him the eight if you make a ball. <laughs> but <laughs> You're a I don't lot know how he's going to do me. that. But <laughs> oh, oh, so that, that was, was a, nice. a very inventive way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad. Ingenious. And he didn't sell out the bank. I'm not sure he could cut this ball in. He could. He could do it. He doesn't need to do this. It's too hard to aim the ball. Maybe he will, but it's too hard to aim the ball. No. He's got a bank on the five ball, doesn't he? There's a guy in my pool room, uh, Dennis the Greek. He'll cut this in every day. Yeah. Yeah, that was a easy shot. He went shot. up and down, and that's nice because he got on, he's going to get on two or three balls. Unless he goes in the pocket. Look at this. He's... And where do you go with the five first or the six? I think the six, but if you shoot the yeah, five from this angle here, uh, it looks like you could maybe follow, but play the five and follow back over where you are. Yeah. Unless he shoots the five and draws it and tries to get up for the 15. Hmm. Yeah. 15. I don't know where the... Where the oh, I see. Whatever that is. Below yeah. the 10. 
Uh, that might not be the 15, but... He's digging down. He's, he's digging down. He's going to hit Yeah, he's going to... Yeah. This ball doesn't cut. Yeah, it does. Well, good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not for... He's not even trying it. Yeah. I, I don't try that cut. It's too thin. I'm just going to position it where I want it to be. And there goes a nice... Bank what? shot. Trying, yeah, he was trying a three rail bank shot and he was going to try to put the cue ball on the top, but he caught the point. Yeah. Again, he shot. He thought quicker than I did. Uh, yeah. I was going to see the. I was in the middle of seeing the shot and <laughs> when he already pulled the trigger. But I did see the shot. It just it was. I was speaking a little late. That's actually a pretty shot. That was a real pretty yeah, shot. Yeah. As long as it didn't kiss. There could have been a kiss up there. If you don't know one pocket, you didn't know what he was doing, but that sure. was a beautiful shot. Sure. Yeah, we can't tell how much of the six he can hit. Can he hit enough to one rail it or into the balls or not? That's what he's going to do. Yeah, he could. Watch Whitey. Okay. And now you just hit the right-hand side of the 11. Well... You mean at the, oh, he and can do, actually and do bank what? it. And bank the, bank the ball? or? Well, I think he could bank it. Yeah, that's what I think I would it's play. A because if shot. you leave the cue ball all the way up at the top, he has no other ball that he could cut in. Yeah. Yeah, he has to shoot this. Just don't put a lot of English on it. He oh, put he a lot did. of English yeah, on it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he put the cue ball up I there. scratch in the side sometimes on that yeah. one. Yeah, well, so does everybody. If you don't hit it good, you're going to scratch. And he has a similar shot here. He can bank this ball back. Yeah. And put the cue ball into those that wall of balls there. Which, oh. which would uh, not only protect the cue ball from scratching, but it would keep the uh, uh, your opponent from seeing the 11 after you hit it. He didn't spin it very much, so he didn't try to do that. No, he wasn't really trying. He was just trying to get it closer to the pocket where... Yeah. Justin couldn't see it, but he, he didn't accomplish that. I just follow, yeah. We just follow yeah. this ball like that. He's, he gets up and shoots quick, doesn't he? Uh, this is a two-railer. I think you're right. I guarantee he gets close on the shot. Should never say yeah, that. That uh, time timekeeper doesn't come into play much here, does does he? No. And they're both shooting quickly. Uh oh! oh he didn't goodness. mean to make it. He didn't mean to make it. He may show this ball. No. And uh, he was trying to to rail that. Yeah, I believe you're right. But you do get it close to the tit on that when you're shooting a two-railer. Sure. And uh, he just made it instead. He might put this ball off of a, off the six, graze it, or accommodate it into the 15. I don't know, the 11. I think he's going to get a little bit aggressive here. Maybe pull Is he the trying to ball. combo? He's going to put the cue ball back into the two ball. I think it's going to be like a somewhat of a safe over there. This ball might go right past the 11. I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. We can't see it from here. Scores 1-1, one, one, 3 to 4. He tried to combo. Uh, yeah, players are going to take a break now. We'll be right back. Players are back from their break now. And uh, Danny Smith will be uh, resuming for a shot. From where they left off. You see the time clock hasn't started yet, so I guess they're not going to make it official until, until that starts going. 
Well, he has additional time to take a look at what he wants to do here. Sure. And uh, <clears throat> has a couple of good options. One is to hit the one into the 15 and bring the cue ball back into the back. There we go. Now they, I guess they pointed at him to they could start now. He's he's uh, he's pinned against that ball there. He doesn't have a he's in, in a little bit of uh, playing safe. Oh, tell me, funny situation. That was a foul. Yeah, the two I guess didn't reach the rail. I mean, he left them really good. But... Wait a minute, does he have a ball? One, two, three. All right, so the score yes. is one up, and they each have three balls. Smith is on one foul. And that looks like it was a good hit. And it looks like the two isn't frozen. And I saw the way it rocked it. I don't think it settled against the reel. Maybe it'll get well into that ball one more time. Score is now 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Oh, this is good control here. Yeah. Good control. Justin has the ball, the positional advantage with the with the table right now. He's got the ball in front of his hole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he's shooting, and I don't believe the two is touching the real. So he might be able to just. Oh, look at this! He got a couple of balls. That was nice. Really he got a couple nice. of balls to leave, go on his side, <laughs> and uh, he's got he's got Danny Smith in a problem situation here. Yeah. He's gonna have to make uh -huh. a really. Delicate safety or some kind of a foul here. I don't think there's an offensive shot. I'm trying to pin him to 13 maybe real easy. Oh, Very that was nice. really nice. nice. That was really nice. I'm going to do the same thing back. If he can get him right against that ball, it'd be nice. Yeah. And he did. I am... Could he do it again? That would be uh, a world's record if he does this successfully here. Uh, what's he doing? He's going to try and do it again. I'm not sure he's frozen or not. He wasn't frozen. Oh, and he did it again. That so, was really... Yeah, he's really hitting the okay, ball. So well. He was the one that did the better job there. Well, it isn't over yet. He might be able to hold him here, too. Look at this. Uh, no. No, no, you're right. Now he has right. uh, options, and I would uh, probably kick at this 11. Sure. Unless I could hit it. If I could hit it, you could bank it. I don't think you could bank this. It looks like it would be a kiss. I think he's have to go under the ball and just tap it up a little higher up near the, ye the yellow stripe ball. That's what he's going to do. Why is he jacked up like that? If he's not doing what I said, oh, yes, he is. Yep, just play safe. Just get out of it. Yeah, I just don't understand why he had a jack to do that. Yeah, I don't know. He shoots good jacked up, though. Oh, yeah. Shoots good anyway. He, he's uh, shot a little too quick for my, for me right there. Yeah, I don't think he thought about too much other than leaving the cue ball on the bottom rail. Scores 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. One game apiece. He's going to take that ball uh, the, uh, near his pocket, near uh, Justin's pocket, out, and maybe the nine with it. Yeah, uh, try and get both and put balls the cue ball right back where it is, but maybe closer to the rail if he could. Closer to his pocket and closer to the rail. Oh, he went back to the center. Do you like putting the cue ball closer to your opponent's pocket? Well, it depends what I'm allowed to do. In other words, if I have the right angle to put it, or have choices, that's another, you know, at that particular shot, he may not have had that option to be able to do it as easily. I want to I want to freeze him to the rail, and some angles are easier to get him frozen to the rail on than others. And he thinks this bank goes, and the 13 was in the way. He's lucky he didn't hit it fuller. It would have come down and given him a bank up. Well, he's got to shoot the nine. Well, the one might bank here, right through everything, and he has position. He might get position on the nine. Whoa. I think he's thinking about it. It's very close. If he doesn't think about that, then he's going to take the nine out of there. Yeah, just 
Put it on your side. Do not block a ball. I do that, and I always block the 15 from going in or something. Well, not always. Sometimes no. you hit it perfect. What's he doing? Okay. He was just taking the balls out there. Yeah. Driving um, them up. And blocking them for yeah. uh, his he, opponent. Yeah, he may have the uh, seven. Was that yes. the seven or the three? He uh, may have the seven up there. Um, and then if the six is really close to the uh, ball it's next to, you may be able to kiss that off and send it to his pocket with a little right English. I yeah, can't I tell how close they are. I think the angle's wrong. Uh, uh, if they're really close to the angle, is okay. If they're almost frozen. Sometimes you can get both of them to your pocket yeah. if that angle is correct. Yeah. Yeah, he he, he overdid that. Hit it really bad. But yeah, he overdid it. Really bad. He, I don't know. He seems he so be able to roll too his relaxed. Ball in, You know, he knows he's playing Ephraim, right? He, or he is who's he playing next? Uh no, Shane is playing Ephraim. Yeah, Shane is playing Ephraim. What a, what a, oh. he hit that pretty well. I, I thought he made it. I thought he made it, too. The problem here is that he left the bank with position. With the six. Yeah, with position. Either one of them goes. Yeah. I mean, if he makes either one of these, he's going to have a, a shot on the seven or the three, whatever ball that is. Very nice. I would have. Oh, it didn't fall. I would have bet not on fall. it. I, thought he was, I would have bet on it, too. Yeah, he would have got four balls there, usually. You gave him that one. You know, I like that shot. You see how he made it, and then he put the cue ball on this three. Sure. Rather than leaving it far away for possible uh, other opportunities. That's nice. And you always yeah, it, do that. It's those little things, exactly what you're saying. It's those little things that count in one pocket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, leaving a guy frozen to the rear, leaving a guy jacked up over a ball. Uh, when you have an option of just pocketing the ball, you don't just pocket the ball. You make it a little harder for him. That's exactly right. You know, everything they do is more than just hitting the ball. Absolutely. You know, this is a game of chess. And you're looking at what you're doing to, to the balls and how does it uh, help you. Very true. Well, you taught me a lot of that. What do you think here? We're going to one rail or two rail? You got a one uh, rail on a striper uh, or a two rail on a solid? Uh, one rail. I was looking at the wrong pocket. <laughs> I was I got confused for a second. I thought oh. he had the other pocket. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see what you were doing. Yeah. Two rail on yeah. a six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. But I was right, he wasn't doing that. Now I seen Danny Smith cut some balls. I'll have to show you later, but it was just amazing what well, this we'll see. He's gonna, he's gonna try it here. He may try to cross this fifteen ball with mm, a real thin hit. No, and but that's a very hard shot to do. <clears throat> You're not putting left-hand English on this. You're putting right-hand English on this ball. Oh, he's, wait a minute. He's, he's not, not going to cut it. He's just going to bank it out. Yeah, he's going to kick it? No, it's just straight on. Yeah, okay. Just to leave it close to the bat, bottom rail. Yeah. And now he left him a bank shot. Yeah. Really straight back. He's, uh, I guarantee he's not going to do too... Uh, he's going to come pretty close to making this. He's going to hit it hard because he's not going to leave a bank. Oh, what? I was wrong. He's just... He was playing position. Yeah. Yeah, if he made that, he would have got that one. The six come across for the one or the 15. He might have got three or four. Might have won the game. As a, now he's just going to tie it up. It'll be four up. I don't think Danny's going to go for a bank here. I mean... Uh, if he goes for the bank, he could win the game. Yeah, that's true. Looks like he's going for it, too. Wow. He's going to snap draw the cue ball to the rail and out for the 15. Yeah. If he banks this, he and, can and win the game. He'll win the game if he makes it. Because he's going to come draw back and up. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, the only yeah. way. The he, only he's I, looking at the bank right now. The only thing I can see going wrong is if he draws to the rail and it flies in the side or something crazy. Wow. See the sidewall, side pocket again yeah. in the play? Very right? nice. And so I was afraid he was going to draw it and spin it up towards the side and go right inside. You know, I don't really do well on this particular shot in order to get position. But these well, how do you think he's going to do it? Well, real soft one rail or come across zigzag? I think he has to zigzag. He has to shoot this, hit two rails. Yeah. I think, he, I think if he makes the, the ball, it's a natural. He's going. He's trying to d hit it soft with a light light draw. Oh, he went wow. wild. Look at this. He lost the cue ball. <sighs> well, he should have listened to me. I, I know yeah. I don't do good yeah. on that. Well, he could do it either way on that shot, you know. You can't criticize a guy. He, he makes it both ways. He gets position both ways. And just the slightest little bit off, and it becomes a bad shot. Yeah, and actually it caromed off of one of the balls went into the pocket. It that's, normally that's wouldn't correct. do that. But Justin has three, needs five. Uh, if this one ball goes by, the, that's how I would play it. If the one ball went by, I'd play the combination. Yeah. yeah. And I believe he's doing that. There's other options you can do besides what he's doing here. There's certainly, uh, yeah, he could there's certainly not nothing too too wrong with what he just did. He could have shot the nine into the eleven and put them both on his side. Yeah, uh, he, he, gra he shoots this ball in, and if he can graze the top of the fifteen ball, he'll get the uh, the eight and then the uh, fifteen afterwards. Yeah. And he did. Well, he didn't hit it the way he wanted to. He he hit it, leave himself a bank. If he would have touched the top of that 15, it could be I'm going to say he cross. makes the six and gets position for He's the 15. Banker. He's yes. a good banker. Yeah, this is not tough for him. I feel as if he'll bank this and get position for the 15. He won the master at the table at that all around tournament. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't make the bank. Well. I think he makes this 15. 5 4, uh, Justin's leading. Uh, it's 1 to 1 on games. And Danny's on, uh, has one foul on him. Not yeah. that, that, won't, that won't matter. No, he, <clears throat> he's going to just bank this. He's trying to figure out how to bank it and get position. Well, I don't think he's got really a position shot here. No, just, just make it. You can bank this and. I would just hit it soft to the pocket. Try to leave him what? safe if I missed. You see play why? defense. Why wouldn't he shoot that? Well, if he, I don't he know. must have felt there was a kiss involved with the shot. I mean, that's all I could think of. See how quick uh, Justin got up there and just hit it right away, boom. He knew right away he was going to yep. go right to it. <clears throat> you know, he's probably getting the balls up north now. Playing safe. These little shots right here, you have to be careful because you can leave the, the, your opponent yeah. a bank shot here. Look, well, this is even worse. I don't know what, what's going to happen here now. Actually, that was not bad at all. I don't know if he was certain that his control was going to be behind there, but uh, it worked out for him. He's just going to play safe. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. Now, all the balls are either in the middle or on Danny's side. Yeah. So, I mean... Uh, right now, it favors uh, Danny. Yeah, I might just roll into the left side of the 15 up top of the table. No, I'd rather hit the two and <clears throat> come back down to the bottom rail. But you do have to watch how hard you... You're going to hit the two and come down to the bottom rail? Well, maybe just to the right rail. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, it's, it's not an easy I, shot I, here. I might go up to the top with the cue ball rather than the bottom. But I, that's why I don't like doing... I'd leave them two alone on the spot. 
Is he going to come back down? Yeah, in the middle, so he doesn't leave him anything. He doesn't yeah. want to come all the way yeah. down for a bank on, on anything. Oh, he's kicking the ball to the hole, what? and he hit it badly. He was trying to kick it one reel straight down. That's, uh, I think he caught a reel, didn't he? Um... He hit the reel. I think the cue ball went to the right and it hit the long reel. Because he hit it so bad. He hit it so bad that the cue ball had to well, go to the gotta right. that's got to be game. That's game. He needs three. There's three loose ones. So he's got to make yeah. this one in his game. Yeah. If he doesn't, I'll play him. He knows that's game. Uh, he, no, he's going to miss on purpose. He heard that you were going to play him. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. Okay. Two to one, Justin. Two to one. And I'd like to uh, make some more uh, acknowledgments for support of this event and other MIH events, Make It Happen events. Uh, Bill Marshall in Texas, Mike McKiernan in Illinois, Jim Mulhall in Florida, Raymond Ortiz from Nevada, Bob Osselink, Osselink, in New York, Don Pappas from Florida, Jerry Poole, Alabama, Alabama, Tony Rapone, Nevada, Rick Rohana, Arizona, and Frank Rolf in Virginia. Thank you, old fellas. Couldn't done it without you. Now we're just, we're racking for our, for our for our own self. Uh, you rack your own balls and I believe they're playing this if you happen to make a ball on a break I don't think you get to keep shooting I think you have to rack them up again and yeah. break again yeah that's the way they're playing it and to uh, be honest I don't think anyone did make a ball on a yeah, break I think one person did oh uh, did? no yeah no I don't I don't believe anybody yeah uh, not yet they have no it's not easy <laughs> But it happens, you it know, happens. And, and I agree. It it's does. a little too strong of a lucky break for somebody to have that happen to. And I guess for all of us, they don't want to see somebody uh, make it on the break and then run out. And it's uh, well, that, that's true too. They would rather see some one pocket. That's true too. But, but okay. you know, it, it, you know, if you make a ball on a break, a lot of times people win the game right there on the spot. Yeah. yeah. And that is a really strong lucky and, break. Now over here, I think you just shoot the two. Well, he could. What would you do with the two? Where would you put the cue ball? I would just leave the cue ball right there. He may cut the tenon off the off that uh, seven or, or th whatever that ball is. Maybe he'll cut it in and off that ball from there. <laughs> I'm believing that that's not a, a choice. I think he's going to go up and down. Maybe take a. If he can't fit in through here. This guy is very creative. So oh yeah, he's whatever sure, he's, he's doing. He certainly is. He certainly is. To me, that's just too aggressive. Why would you? Yeah. That's way You're too right. aggressive. You're He's... right. It was great. It was way too aggressive. You know, and yet if he would have hit it perfectly, you wouldn't have said a word about it, right? If he had a shot afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just the way the balls fell, it looks really bad, but. You notice against uh, Ephraim, when he played Ephraim, uh, he didn't do that. Right. You're right. He was trying to leave him straight on the two ball. You know, if you left them straight on a two ball without the nine or the three there to help them, then, you know, that might have been a, you know, an okay shot. But 100%, I, I feel as if in the beginning of the game, I don't care if you have to take a foul, just don't leave a shot in the beginning of the game. It's too many balls that you could make. Yeah, he might, he's level to run right out here. Yeah, it's, this is where you make all the balls, and you don't want to give your opponent a shot. So play safe, take a scratch, do something other than... Something that is like uh, the odds are really against you. I practice this like what he's doing right here. I, I set that up for a drill. It's one of my drills. I, I make a line of balls and I go up, up and down the rack and try to do them in order. Yeah. 
It's just a warm-up drill or practice drill. Does he have another one? Does the six go? I think the six may still six go. Six looks like it goes. Then he's, of course, he has the bank on a 10, which might be able to hold up and make that go. I think he has five. Yeah, he has five. And he's leading two to one. And they're, what, they're only going to three, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't understand this be a short match. why Smith would have taken a chance, such a chance like that in the beginning. And obviously can't knock him because he could uh, probably give me 10-3, but... I doubt it. You're just trying to fight for a, <laughs> a good game when he comes by. I told him to stop in. <laughs> uh, he missed that. He heard you talking. He missed that on purpose. Yeah, he's saying, I'm going to get a game with Vinny. Well, this he's got up. six. I mean, he only needs two more. Does the five go? Uh, I think I would hit the seven into the one and bring the cue ball That's back. That's what I meant. The, the, the one, I thought that was the five. That's the one ball. Yeah, it doesn't go, but... Uh, well, I, you, you I think it, it, could, it could possibly hit the eight and then cut it a little more maybe that way. Come up with the oh, cue no, ball. Put the, the cue ball up near the. Put yeah, the cue ball. Does the eight go? Yeah, the eight goes. Uh, put the cue ball up near the two. Oh, actually, he could do good. Yeah, here. yeah. I didn't realize that. Oh wow. One, two. He's got one, Wait two, three. Wait a minute. Oh, he got has a lot of balls At least three more balls, balls that go straight yeah. in. Yeah. He's liable to win this game. I just changed. Needed only two. He wasn't being careful enough. Okay, he makes this and hits the 15. Uh, he might not shoot this ball here. Depends if the, if the one ball is good or not. He might go and shoot the ball on the bottom rail. He's going to shoot this. See the ball on the bottom rail? He might shoot that, come up and graze the that seven. That actually is a, probably a better shot. Graze the actually, seven, open yeah. up the whole rack, and then he wins. Yeah. Yeah. But he has to hit the seven. Yeah. But you see um, the line going right up from the 10 to the 7. It's only a touch of right English to graze the edge of the 7. Yeah. Well, he's coming back for the for the pink, not for the 4. He's going to draw up and come back for the no, 4. No, oh, he's yeah. putting right in English. Well, then, it didn't look like it was doing that. I, I don't like what he did, the way he did it. Yeah. yeah. It didn't really work out for him, but could he bank this? Well, it banks, but I don't know what he could do with the cue ball. Possible bank, for sure. <clears throat> and six balls on the table. I mean, it's nine down, and uh, three of them are his, and six are Justin's. Yeah, he was just protecting it. Thank yeah. you. Well, the thing is, the. Uh, he could have gone wow. the other way. He, he crossed that ball like that. He could have gone the other way and gone up for the one ball. Yeah. You know, because those two don't go in the other pocket. And now he might have left the one ball for a bank. Yeah. And he hits this one ball with low, a uh, little draw. He gets position for the seven. He doesn't sell out. He has a lot of options here. He also could kick this ball in if he wanted to. From, you know, get it from behind. Yeah. Uh, and and you heard they were having problems with the grease lately. Yeah. How that makes any sense, I don't know. I, but. I don't know, but from a financial standpoint, uh, <laughs> I guess it's not wise for him to take that shot is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought he was going to hit that with draw. Well, he has a long straight shot in a seven. And he, these guys are nine ball players, aren't they? I think he's going to shoot this seven. You don't think so? I think he's for sure going to shoot it. These, they have a lot of heart. Yeah. And uh, He's going to follow it down for the pink. And who knows what else. Is this perfectly straight? I doubt if it's perfectly straight, but probably close to it. Ow. What would be his options if he doesn't have it? He wouldn't have a lot of choices. He's going to make this. Yeah. No, he's he's going to make it. It's, it was almost yeah, straight the other way, right? Safe. Yeah. What a great shot that was. That was a great shot. Does he shoot the 15 or the 5? 
I'm going to shoot to you to pink the four. I think that's the four ball, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Oh, the 15 fits. Uh, no, he's shooting the whatever that is. That might have been the 12. And now the 15 and the four, and he's out. You know, I'm really not a betting man, but I'd go with this. Yeah, I like a side here. Oof. Hit the point there. Danny needs uh, <laughs> two balls, and so does Justin. I guess he's going to play for the angle he sees right there. You see where he's putting his hand? Yeah. He's going to bank the ball and send the cue ball into the two. That would be the yeah. safe way to play it. He wants to keep the cue ball just short of the, side, the, the spot. But it came up a little harder than he wanted to. It's a little higher than yeah. he wanted to, but it's still good. Yep. You can one rail this and, and control the cue ball and make the cue ball hit the, the two. It is higher than what he wanted, but... As long as it hits the two, he's happy. Oh, he, Ooh, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't hit the two. He didn't hit the two. He's got it inside the pocket well enough, though. Look at he's scratching his head. He knows he, he knows he made a little bit of an error here. Yeah. I think he put too much English on it. Yeah, he's going to have to shoot the two ball here. I mean, he needs two balls. But the angle he's yeah. at right now to get that one out of there, he may not get it out anyway. So you might as well go for the two. No, he'll get that one out. Well, you just hit the bottom rail. The only thing is it could be a double kiss. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, if it double kisses and stays there, then you lose. Uh, I think he's good enough just to make this two. I mean, he makes this ball. He difficult. makes this ball. Oh. And he makes that ball. Wow. <laughs> Almost. Okay, so he's obviously going to follow it in. Yeah, to follow that in. So now two balls come up. And one shot that I like, but I wouldn't do it here, is uh, try both of them to my pocket. But against these players, you you wouldn't really take that shot. Dana needs one, and uh, Justin needs two. So, Justin's on a foul. So you keep the balls out of play? Well, if I was Danny, I would want to keep them out of play. I don't want to uh, take a, a wild shot here and... and uh, there's a couple uh, options. I want that him you to beat me have. twice. I want him to beat me twice. If he needs two balls, let him beat beat me twice, not beat yeah. me once so and run two balls. You could go balls. over here. You could hit it, keep the cue ball down on the bottom rail. Uh, I like this option right here. He's going to leave the cue ball somewhere near the bottom over there. Yeah, yeah. This way, both balls are out of play. Yeah, and if he shoots the the two ball on a bank, he's selling out the one. You know, it's a good common sense. I think he might have aimed to bank that ball into the other ball, hoping to get them both uh, where he wouldn't have a free bank. Yeah. Well, he's going to bank this with a little left-hand English. Well, at that distance, if you put an English on it, you're not going to come too close to the pocket. But he might have put a touch of it on. He doesn't have a shot. Well, maybe not to his hole, right. not not without sending the cue ball wild. But uh, you know, he, he okay. can. Okay. Now, when you kick this ball, you kick it hard enough to hit this rail, the the side rail or the long rail, and then back up. Yeah, I, I would have liked to catch the, caught that fuller and send it closer to the two. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because, because you're at, leaving him a bank here. Yeah, at this at this shot right here. Uh, you just follow the cue ball. You're leaving him a real hard cut on the two, but with the one hanging in the pocket, I don't see how it's a bad shot. And you're going to hang this ball close to the pocket. I think he is. Yeah. Yeah, there's... He's such an accurate shooter. I can't see him not getting this right, Very there, close. No, right near the pocket. Yeah. I mean, to me, you make this. This isn't, you know, for these guys. Uh, oh, wow. He was trying to control the cue ball by putting extra left-hand English on it. Yeah. And that's what held that ball up.
Now he could hit the rear side rail and stop the cue on this. See what he did? Yep. Now he didn't hit it quite perfect, but he okay. blocked the two ball. I don't yeah. think he can hit the two ball now. You have some good options over here we could show people. Um, this one here, you could bank the one, and uh, you could show this here. Uh, where he banks the one, and then the cue ball, you got to watch it doesn't scratch in the uh, left-hand pocket. Yeah. But this is the shot right here. Yeah. Sure. And you could possibly hit the two, and the uh, one ball is going to come down to his pocket for sure. Well, we were and after all that, he does it his way. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, they were a little risky. They were a little risky. Both of our options were a little risky. Uh, you know, he could have gone in the pocket. Could have kissed it. Yeah. Um. Justin's the one who needs the two. He should be the one to take a bigger risk, I would think. Right? Yes. Yeah. Justin will shoot. He'll try to fan this in, I think. He's going to try to fan in all the way down. Some people double bank this. Double bank. I like a double bank here. Oh, he just singled it. All right, this is the bank. As Danny DiLamberto would say, he's going to make this. I think Danny might say he's, uh, if he falls on it good, he might make it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was a tough he, shot. You had to be careful oh, for the kiss. Look at this. And he look gets at, him behind and look at this there. Shot. Oh, this is an interesting one. He's got a couple options here, also. Oh, we could, absolutely. Uh, we could show a couple things here. You know, he could uh, do this, which is a little bit tricky. Yeah, well, if he zigzags across and makes it, he could get out. Yeah, it's and, and he needs to. He could shoot it straight in. But you know, you, you could also <laughs> lag the ball up <laughs> soft and just just play him one apiece. You know. Yeah. So you, you make the ball, and then you drive the two away from the guy's pocket, let's say. I'm shooting it straight in, leaving the cue ball a little bit safe. Uh, I'd rather... Yeah, I like this. Real soft. There it is. He, soft. he did it perfect. Uh, I, I think maybe perfect. Danny might have been able to cut this two now, in, but it would have been a tough shot. Would you three rail this? It's it's looking pretty good, right? Well, you could, you could three rail it. Uh, but the real smart shot here might be just to thin the two ball over towards my side and and reverse the cue ball and go straight up table. But I'm not sure. And another, yet, there's another way to play it too. You could draw the ball. Oh, or you could. Oh, kick I like it. that. Yeah, I didn't know it was. I didn't think it was that uh, far enough away from the rail to do that. I like that. Looking at this at the monitor now, uh, he was he was far from the farther from the ball. The rail was uh, the ball was farther from the rail. This is heading for the pocket. What a nice shot. What a nice shot. That's a beautiful shot. And it wins the game. Well, it's 2-2. Two -two and uh, uh, this is a hill-hill match. I'd like to see that shot again. Uh, uh, the two-railer? Yeah. That was a pretty shot. Right. Maybe he could bring that up on the on the monitor for us. Ladies and gentlemen, the score is now two to two. The score is two to two. Is Let's see if we can get it up if we have time before it starts. Yeah, we there do. You had a lot of left English on the cue ball, you notice? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he put the left-hand English in order to hold the two ball because yeah, he overhit yeah. the two that, ball. And to, keep, and to keep the cue ball from kissing the two. Wow. Both. See where he broke from again? He broke from all the way out, almost almost at the diamond. Wow. Almost a diamond from the rail. And they broke well. And who do you see there? Barry Bergman. Tell me that wasn't great control. Nice shot. <clears throat> now he's going to skin the three and put them right in the pack. Well, that's one thing to do for sure. Or an intentional foul and put them into the pack. That's another thing to do for sure.
Those are his only two shots. Do well, you see something? No, else? there's other things to do. Whoa. I see skin in the three. You could take a foul and put him in the stack. Uh, you know what? It's it's a little hard to take intentional foul into the stack here. You could you could hit the back of the stripe ball that's near his pocket. You know Spin what? the cue ball back and kick it back to here. He's taking his foul right into the stack. Oh, look at this. He didn't do it well. He wanted to get a pie right <laughs> in the stack, and he gave him a cut shot right into his pocket. Yeah. That was a foul, too. That's a foul. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Yeah, he was trying to take the foul on the, on the stack, but he just he didn't get up there. You had to hit it a little higher. Or a little bit more English, because I don't think he had Something, the angle. Something, yeah. He didn't, he didn't uh, take a good scratch. Apparently he didn't do it. Oh, he's going to come back. Look at the English he's putting on. Yeah, he wants to hit if the stack and hit, open yeah. it wide open. Oh, he missed. He, if he hit that 13, he might have been out. Yeah, for sure. So now... What's he looking at? Well... The seven? He's got a few no, choices. He's not he could shoot come off this. the one ball. I don't know if Is he's he shoot shooting this. the seven off of the 13? If he thinks it's dead, he will, but I don't know wow. if he thinks it's dead. Wow. I or wouldn't not. shoot it even if it was dead. <laughs> Everything goes to his opponent's pocket. I might draw off the one ball and bring him down off the one ball. Well, I'll tell you what. He's looking at this, and he says it's dead. You think so, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he says it's dead. Well, if he says it's dead, then I'll bet he makes it. He's not shooting this unless it goes. Very yeah. nice shot. He played it safe also. Well, he has a shot, though. He has yeah, a position. he got the shot. He played it beautiful. You know what? You know, it was a little bit safe, wasn't it? Yeah. A little yeah. bit. He had some kind of shot, but he was, he was pretty safe. Oh, look at that. Nice, beautiful little touch there. If he can make this and get position, he could do well here. I just got to make the ball. He'll get a natural shot here next. It's a natural shot. You know what? I'm a little surprised that uh, he's doing this well against uh, Danny. But it looks like he could win. He's got a good chance. Oh, he's going to hit the, what, the, the 12 or 13 ball right there? Hit the rail and maybe that ball or hit that ball and then the rail and then he'll have the uh, 7 ball. Yeah, a lot of balls go to his pocket. From After here. that, who knows what could go? Main goal is to make this. Well, that bridge is not helping him. Yeah. That's what I thought would happen. And uh, he's going to jack up on this shot, make the three, draw it back. I think he's going to draw it back from, from this position here. I don't know about that. He's not able to shoot that 12 or 13 ball and cut that in first. Whoa. You're a much better shot than me. Or just roll this in and shoot the bank next. I don't know if he can jack up and draw this ball back. That's awful hard. Well, uh, I guess he's fallen. He's coming for the bank. Yeah. Well, the only thing here, you know what? Yeah, you could put a little left-hand English on this, a little left-hand draw. Yeah, just turn the bank and then shoot yeah. the nine bank. <clears throat> yep. Five, six. If he makes this bank, I'd put money on he's out. Well, he has six. If he, makes the, if he makes this bank, I'll put I'll put money on that he gets into the one hole. <laughs> He's at least got to get this hanging, you know. Beautiful shot. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well. So he needs one ball. Now he he's got to he's got to get something out of play. Yes, you do so not take any silly no. chances. Well, either that or you or you take a silly chance and win the set. Wow. Okay. Oh, he hung it. Didn't quite hang. All right. Now 
He took a, a cue ball was safe, you noticed. Uh, well, is it safe? Could he bank this five? Well, he might be able four? to bank that one, but the, the other balls that are on the table, he was safe from the other balls. Yeah. You know what? If he could bank this, tide could change now to his side. Yeah. I, I doubt if he could bank this. It looks like it's close to the rail, some kind of a kiss involved. He's probably going to have to take a defensive play here. Maybe I'm hoping for him because I... Uh, go off the six. See the six? He's going to go off the six and come down under the pack. Yeah. Yeah. That's if he can't see this four. Yeah. But if he can see this four, he's shooting it. Well, he really couldn't. That was nice, though. Come on. Very nice. Control. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So what he does is a three-railer here. Well, three railer. Yeah, he's gonna hit the fifteen, hit the long rail, short rail, and leave it on that short rail. It's one, no, way, it's a two it's one way to play it. Uh, I want to get another ball out of play before I uh, uh, take any chances. That's for sure. Uh, he might be trying to kiss this ball off the six or something. I don't know. Yeah, he did. Okay. He tried to kiss it off the six. Yeah, he knocked the ball out of play. But he gave he side. gave uh, he gave Danny a chance to win the game here. That ball, that long, he's got a, a long table bank on the, the one? Uh, yeah. Is it the one or the five? I can't see. And if the cue ball travels to the other side of the table, and he, if he has a shot next, he's able to run them all off. Got to make this one, though. This is important. He could actually draw come this back for the eight. Yeah, Come yeah. back for the eight. Yeah. But if he makes this, he's got the eight. He's got the pink. He's got the, that opens everything up. Nope. He didn't turn it. No, didn't turn it. He's a little frustrated. Yeah, he didn't put the right stroke on the shot. Uh, if he would have stroked stroke that correctly, the ball would have applied from the English from the cue ball would have applied to the uh, object ball. And it would have turned closer to the pocket. That's an important uh, aspect of banking. He's going to try and bank this one into the four. I can't tell. Well, needing one ball. I'd like to get this ball hanging. Oh, no, he's not doing that. He's getting behind the one. I think How that's sweet shot. that is. That's not real nice. <clears throat> he's going for the six. Again. Sure. Yeah. He has to make one of these. He doesn't have to, but. Well, if he does, he might win the game. Right. Three rail with the cue? What do you think? No. Oh, one, oh yeah, two, it is three. three. It's a cue ball behind all these balls here. Lucky that. Pretty You could have sold the eight out if the one wasn't there, right? I think he's a free bank on the pink, doesn't he? I believe so. I think he could uh, just hit it in center or maybe a little below center, just come straight across. He's not going to try He's it. He's not doing that, though. Taking a couple, another Bank ball out of play. Maybe, maybe, maybe another ball's coming out of play here. Bank the 15. Hmm. Safe shot. He doesn't have anything. Now he's got to come underneath the 15. He's not able to bank this 15 ball. One rail, and spin the cue ball into the pink. I mean, it's a real risk, Whoa. but, you know, he's not able to do it. I'm conservative. I'm going to hit the, the bottom rail. And well, his the last 15. shot, he went three rails with the cue ball, right? So it's not yeah. too conservative, right? Well, you know, he's minus one, so he doesn't want to be conservative. He wants to try and make some balls. Sure. Like you said before, like a lion or a lamb. Well, I think he needs to be the lion now. He needs eight plus one. He needs nine. So How's he going to do that? There's only, four, there's only eight <laughs> balls <know>. there. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens on his last ball? They have they'll, to put it up. Yeah, of course. They tried to bank Whoa. on a 15. And, uh, well, he got left a little but lucky here. It's he a tough shot. Came out smelling like a rose there. The ball goes, but, uh, you know, he's allowed to go scratch off the eighth if he makes it. 
also just take the ball out of play and uh, wait for another yeah. shot. Yeah, you don't want to uh, give your opponent an opportunity here when you're clearly winning. Again, you pulled one of these on me uh, years ago. Do you remember <laughs> when I was ahead uh, no, I seven don't to four or seven to three? Uh, yeah, okay, so this is, you did this. See, now he could go this way, come back down here, and then shoot the eight. Yeah, but he better make this ball because if he doesn't make this ball, I don't like any of the options. Yeah, he could still get on the rail. Uh, he yeah, didn't hit about. that one good happened. at all. I don't know. He was frustrated there. That That's it. That's the match. Oh, that was the match. He had to make that last shot. Wow. Well, I'm surprised. Anyway, uh, we're going to close now, and we, we've got two more great matches that are going to come up. The winner of our next match between Ephraim and Shane, Ephraim uh, Reyes and Shane Van Boning, will play uh, Danny Smith in the finals. And thanks for joining me, Vinny. I uh, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. It was a great match. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good match. Good night, everybody. Good night, people. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X-Shocks dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters.